I've got trust issues, y'all. <laughs> I'm feeling real vulnerable right now. <laughs> Some of you that have written to me on the advice email address, it's funny because you'll start the email like, hi, I'm just looking for a friend. And I'm like, girl, me too. <laughs> like, where do we find one of those? <laughs> I'm happy to be your virtual friend, but that's virtual, you know what I mean? So anyway, bring it in. Bring it in, friend. You got some love. If you need it, you got it. Bring it in. Bring it. Bring it in. Bring it. Okay, bring it in. <laughs> Hey boo, this is Nika, and I am pleasantly unbothered. Thank you so much for joining me for day 14 of Vlogtober. I can hardly believe that we're almost halfway there, but I'm so excited to see how much progress we've made, and it feels like time is flying by. As usual, let's jump into the power phrases for the Confidence Booster Challenge. I am beautiful, I am sexy, I am desirable. I am supported, I am valued, I am loved. There is so much more to me than my appearance. It is my right and responsibility to show up in this world exactly as I am. I have made it through 100% of my toughest days and I will not stop. I appreciate my intelligence, intuition, and emotional awareness. I love my unique sense of style and the way that I present myself. I am peaceful, I am calm, I am pleasantly unbothered. Mm, yes, I am. <laughs> I am worthy of everything that I desire for myself. I love my own personal brand of sexiness and how attractive I've grown to become. I am grateful for my body and all that it has allowed me to do. I am capable of even more than I could ever imagine. I believe in my ability to inspire others and impact the world in my own unique way. By being kind to myself and others, I'm encouraging others to do the same. I am loyal, I am supportive, I am understanding. I am worthy of happy, healthy, positive relationships. I am a great mom and I do the best that I can for my daughter every single day. It's like butter, baby. We got the hang of it now. We rocking and rolling now. We in it now. Or at least I hope that you're in it with me. I know a lot of you commented that you are along for the journey. And I absolutely love that. If you're not and you're just here for the video segments, that's cool too. So I won't keep you waiting much longer. Let's go ahead and slide right into the video segment for today. I really hope you enjoy it. If you've seen my videos before, specifically the chatty ones like this, there's a good chance that you know a lot about me. Because <laughs> I share a lot about my past relationships, my dating experiences, my self-esteem issues from the past, my battle with insecurities and self-doubt and being self-conscious and all that jazz. And today we're pretty much gonna do a similar kind of video. We're gonna have a heart to heart about my trust issues. And when I say trust issues, you might assume that I mean relationships because I talk a lot about dating and stuff. But in this case, I'm actually talking about friendships. I think I might actually have more trust issues when it comes to friendships than I do with romantic relationships. And I don't know if that's sad because <laughs> I'm glad I don't have a lot in like the romantic department anymore. But like, ugh, trust issues. And so anyhow, I say all that to say that I really struggle when it comes to making new friends. So I've always prided myself in keeping a small circle, not necessarily uh, being the social butterfly, but having the deeper, more intimate, long lasting friendships and connections. And I totally still thrive on that. I totally love it. My friends and the people in my life are wonderful. They are few, but they are wonderful. <laughs> I enjoy my work friends. They're great people, kind hearted, some of the best and most hardworking people I've ever met in my life. So they're wonderful. My bestie is great. We've known each other for a long time now. We get each other's sense of humor. She probably has seen more of the real me than many people have. <laughs> so she's great and she's um, a little bit possessive. So 
I'm not looking for a new best friend, y'all. I also have a few longtime friends that I've known since I was a teenager, some of them that don't even live in the state or that I would have otherwise expected to have lost contact with, but we still speak regularly and, you know, things like that. So the friendships that I do have mean a lot to me. However, they are very few, again, which is not the problem. It's just that I don't know that they cover all facets of what I desire in friendships if that makes sense at all. So uh, let's talk about my bestie for example. Again, I don't laugh harder with anyone than I do with her, you know? We just have such a blast together. And that's from the rapport we've built, the inside jokes, the, the little texts we send back and forth, our little happy hour dinner dates or whatever the case is. You know, so I feel like we've gotten to know each other so deeply that I know her intentions, I know her heart, she knows mine, there's a lot of trust there. She's one of the few people I trust with my daughter <laughs> outside of my immediate family. And so she's someone that's near and dear to my heart. The thing is that there are certain things that we don't talk about. Our friendship doesn't necessarily cover all facets of my interest and our conversations don't do that either and while that's okay because not everybody's gonna be everything to you that wouldn't be realistic i sometimes feel like i am missing those other people those other components you know so when i do want to have a conversation that's outside of the scope of what me and my bestie talk about it's not that we can't talk about it it's just that that's not necessarily what we're good at talking about you know or we may not have similar desires or we may not be able to relate in that way or the conversation may not be of interest to her although she might be willing to listen i'm not trying to force her to listen to something she don't care about something that she might not have insights on the same thing goes with my honey or with my mom or my sisters or my other few friends that i have like there are things that we talk about and things that we don't things that we have in common that we can relate on that we can have very deep thoughtful insightful conversations about and then things that we just can't and there are certain things that i feel more comfortable sharing with you through this forum than i do with people that are in my everyday life that i see all the time and people who might actually care about some of this stuff but it's things that we don't talk about <laughs> and again it's not that we can't i just feel like I really want to make other connections, other friendships with people who have other interests and might be interested in some of the other things that I'm interested in too, you know? And so as much as I would like to have people occupy those spaces of other friends that I can talk about other things with and have those shared experiences and those things in common and relate to and all those things, I have immense trust issues. Some people are messy. A lot of people don't have your best interests at heart, even if they say they do or they pretend to, or even if they call themselves your friend. And then for me, there's also the added layer of being an introvert. So I have come to enjoy my solitude <laughs> and my tiny, teeny, tiny circle. And thankfully, I have learned not to need to have a certain amount of people around in order to feel stimulated or not lonely, I guess. But at the same time, I do want more connections. And I think it would be beneficial to develop more friendships. So obviously I'm torn. I don't think it's true, but women have a reputation for, you know, causing drama and getting engaged in cat fights and all these different things when we're together in groups or together in friendships. That's totally not my scene. I don't want, I, I don't want it. I'm not interested. I don't do drama. I don't do fights. I don't do that mess. I work way too hard to keep my stress level like manageable <laughs> and to keep as many variables in my life in check as I possibly can in order to be as peaceful and as sane and as chill <laughs> as possible. I totally can't take it with drama, with messiness. It's stressful, like I'm getting stressed <laughs> just thinking about it. And if you think about it, a messy friendship can break your heart just as badly as a messy romantic relationship can. And so I'm not trying to have my heart broken. I've got trust issues, y'all. I'm feeling real vulnerable right now. 
<laughs> and I mean, if I'm being serious, I do sometimes struggle to open up to people because I don't know their intentions and because I am somewhat guarded with who has access to me and to my family and to information about me and what's important to me and things like that. So I totally feel torn between wanting to develop new lasting meaningful connections and understanding that that requires vulnerability and being willing to open up and trust someone and connect and you know do all those things while also like balancing it with the but girl is <laughs> like dating all over again <laughs> except for like a different kind of life partner you know what i mean maybe not an exclusive committed relationship but it's still a relationship of sorts and i take it seriously you know, there's some messy people out there and I don't need that in my life. So I'd rather keep my three friends <laughs> and call it a day. But at the same time, I do want to branch out. So anyway, if you have a close friend, someone who has elevated to the status of being like family to you, someone that you would trust with your life, I want you to let me know in the comment section down below. First of all, when did you meet them? I'm specifically looking for people who have met friends like this in their adult years, but I want to hear from everybody anyway, you know, I'm just saying. I'm curious about now because I can't go back to junior high to meet a best friend from then, you know what I mean? I must have been like 18 or something when I met my best friend, so we're over a decade strong. What, what? Okay. And like I said, I think that's where the rapport and that trust comes from, but I don't have time to go back to being 18 to meet another one of those, you know? So I also would like to know if you have met a good friend in your adult years, how did you meet that person? How did you connect? What was that process like? Did it feel like an instantaneous, like, click, we gonna be soul sisters or soul brother sisters or, you know, whatever the case is? Did it take a lot of work? Did it take a lot of time? What was the getting to know you process like? Were you intending to make a friend out of this person? Did you just happen to stumble into a friendship after learning that you had something in common or developing a connection or whatever the case is? Do people actually go out and like try to make friends? Like, I'm gonna go talk to her because I wanna be her friend. Do people do that because maybe I need to be doing that? I'm totally not that person though, <laughs> you know? I'm polite with everyone, I'm cordial with everyone. If you greet me, I will greet you back. If you speak to me, I will speak right back to you, politely and kindly and all that stuff. But then I'll be like, okay, bye, that's it now. Like, it's not like, oh, we should be friends. But maybe that's what I need to be thinking or doing, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and also please let me know if you have any tips on how to make new friends other than the generic, and not to call your idea generic as if you were thinking this, you know, like go do things that you enjoy doing and find people that enjoy it too and you'll meet kindred spirits and I get that, I got it, check. You know, I, I know that one. Not to knock your idea if you were gonna say that, but do you have any outside of the box things that people have not mentioned or maybe it was a way that you met one of your close friends? Let me know, what do I need to be doing? How do I get past the barriers of the trust issues when it comes to friends? Am I wrong for being this guarded? Do other people feel this guarded when it comes to friendships? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. You don't have to answer all my questions, but I am curious if you have any tips, tricks, tools, so let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, do the thumbs up thing. As always, please consider subscribing for more videos like this, for fashion videos, for self-esteem videos, for self-development, self-improvement, self-love videos, you know, all that. Consider subscribing. I know that there are a thousand other things that you could be doing or watching right now so I certainly appreciate you being here with me and I look forward to seeing you in tomorrow's video. Bye!